I want to show you the various sorting options in the one click screen. If you take a look at the one click screen you'll see at the top here there are all the column headers so we've got name, profit and loss, the micro chart column, the trade profit column, the back price columns, the lay price columns, weight of money, total value, last traded price, volume and back stake and lay stake. So we've, you've probably seen those before now what you can do if you, if you click on any of these it will sort into that order so for example if I click on back it will then sort into price order now you'll notice at the moment it's in Betfair order we've got the favourites at the top because Betfair and BetDAC do strive to keep the favourite at the top but um, the market does change but then we seem to have the third favourite in second place here and the second favourite in third place. So we can rectify this if we click on the back column header and you'll see that opt-out is now in second in the order and these are now in price order. Now you can choose, as I said earlier, any other column. So for example over on the left hand side here we've got the saddle cloth column. So if I click on that it will sort into saddle cloth number order. The next column over we've got the store drawer, we can sort by store drawer order. We can even sort by name, so we can sort into alphabetical order. Uh, we can also sort by lay price, any of these columns. Um, and the volume, we can sort by volume, this is sometimes quite useful, so often you'll find that the favourite may not be uh, the runner that has most money matched on it. So if you sort by volume order you'll see where all the money is and where the action is. Um, in this particular market, here we go, the outsider has actually got more money traded on it than the uh, one trading at 18s, but uh, not a lot of difference. But you can see there that uh, this could be quite useful for viewing in any of these orders. If we want to reset it back to Betfair order we can click the micro chart column header. Now this is a non-sortable value so if I click on that it just reverts back to the order provided to us from Betfair. Now one thing you need to be careful of um, if we've got it sorted into back order for example and we move the mouse away from the grid then as the values change BetAngel will constantly sort into favourite order so um, if all of a sudden opt-out becomes favourite it will switch places. Now this could be quite tricky if you're about to bet on a particular runner and then it, it changes place. So this could happen in running. So in running I, I would recommend you either sort back, uh, revert back to uh, Betfair order or whilst your mouse is actually hovering over the grid area BetAngel does suspend sorting. Um, this is to stop accidentally betting on the wrong runner uh, because you know during an in play event prices can move and chop and change very quickly um, so hover the, the, the mouse over the grid area and it will suspend sorting uh, I'll try and capture something in running so you can see uh, that in, in action There's a few seconds before this event starts, so let's see what's happening. Um, we can see Maiko is the favourite, Opt-out is the second favourite, and Space Artist is the third favourite. Uh, we can tell this because we've got it sorted into price order. If I click on Micro Chart and sort it into Betfair order, you'll see that uh, actually Space Artist is listed second there. So this feature is putting them into price order, which could be advantageous for your particular strategy. What we'll see, um, we'll see what happens in play and see if these uh, prices and names uh, swap around. We'll also see what effect hovering the mouse over the grid area has uh, when this happens. So to start with I'll leave the mouse off the grid area. It's only a five furlong race so it shouldn't take too long.